after formulating LPP, you need to solve the LPP to obtain the values of the decision variables. So uh, you, we know that an LPP consists of three parts called objective function, constraints and non-negative restriction. These are the three parts of uh, any LPP. So LPP can be solved either by graphical method, uh, can, different methods are there. We can solve by either graphical method or by using simplex algorithm. It can be solved by graphical or simplex method. As you know that uh, uh, graphical method is used uh, uh, used when we have exactly two variables. Whenever a given problem, a given LPP has exactly only two variables in that given problem, exactly two variables, if it involves only two variables, we are going to use the graphical method. As we, are go uh, we have only the representation of Mm, representation on a bivariate axis is very easy than tri uh, on a three dimensional one. Whenever you have two variables, we are going to use the graphical method. So, how to, how to solve using a graphical method? Before uh, going to discuss that, let us see the, what are the main steps in that and what is a feasible region, what is an um, what is a feasible region? What is an infeasible region? What is the solution here? So after plotting, the uh, you have objective function, constraints and non-negative restriction here. First of all, to, to solve using this, consider the constraints of the given variable. So try to express, you know that the constraints can be of less than or equal to type, greater than or equal to type or simply an equation. Whatever may be, whether it is a less than or a greater than or equal to type, first try to express each constraint as an equation. Let us say that if this is the constraint given to you, okay, the constraint given is of less than or equal to type. Even though it is a less than or equal to type constraint, simply you consider that as an equation in this way. Maybe it may be a greater than type, whatever it may be, you consider that as an equation type. First you put one variable x1 is equal to 0. Then what will be x2? 2 into 0 plus x2 is equal to 10. So x2 is 10. Similarly, you put other variable is equal to 0, you will get 2 into x1 plus 0 is equal to 10, which implies that x1 is equal to 5. Means by considering each constraint as an equation, each constraint as an equation, uh, take one in the first case you take one variable value as 0 find out the other one take other variable as 0 find out the other variable on the whole you got an ordered pair by representing the first one as x1 comma 10 x1 comma x2 you wrote x, you write x1 value here and x2 as the y-axis now by taking the suitable scale try to plot this constraint as an e as a line here let it be on a, uh, x axis you consider one of the variable x1 on the y axis you consider x2 here you got x1 is equal to 5 if this is the suitable scale for the given by i am considering an example let on i'll explain you a problem in detail also first try to plot this as an equation x1 is 5 x2 is 10 join these two so that this constraint is represented by this line got it girls consider each inequation as an equation and find out the ordered pair of that and represent the ordered pair on the graph represent with an equation now if this is a less than or equal to type you try to shade the region towards the origin okay to find out the solution you are going to make use of the solution uh, constraint plot each constraint by considering each constraint as an equation originally it is less than you have considered as equal to by putting one variable zero you got one value by putting another variable you got another one 
represent that as a line and shade the area toward this is horizon towards the horizon if the constraint is of less than or equal to type okay now if it if it is given another constraint is given to you of type greater than or equal to 10 okay again you consider that as an equation x1 plus x2 is equal to 0 take x1 is equal to 0 x2 will be 10 okay take x2 uh, is equal to 0 you will get x1 is equal to 10 so you got the uh, ordered pair as 10 and 10 so you represent that as also on the graph so represent that with a uh, straight line what is the nature of the original nature of the constraint it is of greater than or equal to type if it is of greater than or equal to type you try to shade the area above the origin what is the first step to solve using graphical method first you consider the each constraint as an equation find out the ordered pairs represent on the graph with a line if the original constraint is of less than or equal to type shade the area towards the origin if the constraint is of greater than or equal to type shade the region above the origin now after plotting all the constraints in this way try to identify the region which is common to all these constraints and that represents the feasible region here you are going to find out the solution using the feasible region let us take a uh, example so that that will be easy for you So this is a problem given to you, solve LPP, given, I said you that LPP consists of three parts, what is the first part called, objective function, it is of maximization type, what is the second part we have, STC stands for subject to constraints, the second part of LPP is called constraints, here you are given with two constraints, these are the two constraints to you, and the third part is called the non-negative restriction this is objective function constraints and non-negative restriction so to use the graphical method exactly there should be only two variables so you have two variables the two variables are x1 comma x2 i said you to touch the constraints first to solve using the graphical method so what is the constraint first constraint given to you the first constraint given to you is 2x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 6 what is the first step even though it's a less than or equal to type you take that as an equation 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 6 to represent this on the graph you should have an ordered pair first to take x1 is equal to 0 you'll get x2 is equal to 6 if you put x2 is equal to 0 you'll get 2x1 is equal to 6 which implies x1 is equal to 3 so what is the ordered pair here 3 comma 6 is the ordered pair for the first constraint what is the second constraint you have 2x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to 9 again you take uh, one, uh, this as an equation 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 9 put x1 is equal to 0 you will get 3x2 is equal to 9 which implies x2 is equal to 3 you put x2 is equal to 0 you will get 2x1 is equal to 9 which implies x1 is equal to 9 by 2 what is the ordered pair here first you should write 9 by 2 comma 3 so by considering each constraint as an equation you have calculated two ordered pairs to represent on the graph so let us represent this on the graph as i said you using this you are not going to consider the two three quadrants as the variables are non-negative in nature you are going to consider the first constraint so what are the values you have three nine by two is nothing but four point five you can take the scale as one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here also I think the maximum number you have 6 so up to 7 is enough. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What is the first ordered pair we have? On x1 you have 3, on x2 you have 6. 
join those two points which represents the first constraint called 2x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 0. What is the nature of this constraint is it is of less than or equal to type. As I said to you that if it is of less than or equal to type, you shade the area towards the origin to identify the feasible region. What is the next point you have? 4.5 comma 3. 4.5 here it comes and 3. Join these two. This represents the second constraint. What is the nature of this constraint? This is also of less than or equal to type. So here also you should add the shade the region before be, below the origin. You have only two constraints here that to both are less than or equal to type. So you got the region towards the origin. To find out the solution, first you should check that whether there is any common region for these two. This is the first one. Right? This is the region you have. This is the second one. So if you identify this, I think this is the common region which is satisfied by both the constraints. Roughly I am drawing here. This is the region. This is the first one. This is the second one. So if what is a both are of less than or equal to type. So you are shading the area towards the origin. To identify that, draw this with different patterns. One with stars, other with circles. Feasible region is nothing but common region bounded by the given constraints. So this is the region which is common to both the constraints. So we can name it O, A, B, C. Here O, A, B, C is the feasible region. If it has a solution means you should have a closed path. Uh, closed uh, bound, uh, co uh, closed area here OABC is the feasible region let us try to uh, means O may be the solution for the given problem A may be the solution B may be the solution or the point C may be the solution you should check which one is going to be the best solution for this let us read the four points from the graph O is nothing but origin 0 0 what is A here a is on x axis it is at 3 so we know that on x axis y is 0 so a point is nothing but 3 comma 0 if we come to b as i am not using the exact uh, graph i am going to get the approximate values not the exact so b means you should read here you will get uh, 2.5 approximately as x point here you should read in this way. What is the corresponding value here? 1.5 for x2. What is how to read here? This is x value. This is y value. What is c then? c is on x2 axis. On x2 x1 is 0. This is 3. So you have identified O, A, B, C. The four points of the feasible region. This may be a solution. This may be a solution. Or any of these four points is going to be the solution. Now let us go to the objective function here. What is the objective function? What is the objective function here? The objective function here is nothing but max z is equal to 3x1 plus 4x2. Now, here, what is the nature of the objective function here? Max. So, you should choose the point which maximizes the given value. Now, you are going to calculate Z at O. At this point, what is the value of Z? At this point, what is the value of Z? And at B, what is Z? At C, what is uh, C? You are going to choose the maximum of these four alternatives. Z at O means 0, 0. You need to put 3 into 0 plus 4 into 0 which is nothing but 0 z at a what is a point here 3 comma 0 so 3 into x1 plus y into to substitute 3 4 into 0 which is nothing but 9 z at b what is b point here approximately 2.5 comma 1.5 in this objective function you place 2 3 into 2.5 plus 4 into 1.5 this is nothing but 7.5 plus 7.5 plus uh, 6 7.5 plus 6 which is nothing but 13.5 you need to find out the other point z at c what is c here 0 comma 3 3 into 0 plus 4 into 3 which is nothing but 12 after finding these three values the z at each of these uh, corner points you should 
choose if it is of maximization type you should choose the maximum value what is the maximum value here maximum value is 13.5 as it is of maximization type we are choosing the maximum if it is of minimization one you are going to choose the minimum value here therefore therefore what is the solution here the solution here is nothing but x1 is equal to x1 is equal to 2.5 the first value and x2 is equal to 1.5 with z is equal to 13.5 this is the solution of the given lpp using graphical method this is case 1 in graphical method okay thank you